and welcome back to Father of Two Plays Sunless Seas of Mariner Blind. Last time, we filled out our crew complement with the bandaged Poissonier, and we ended at this abyss. I lost about 10 minutes of recording, 5 minutes. I went to Codex, and then I had explored this place, and then went to Codex, and then I lost all of that, or there was no video, just sound. Anyway. We'll uh, dive down into the abyss so you guys can at least know what's going on with it. Explore the abyss. Deeper. Your helmsman gives you a questioning look. You say nothing. You are unaccustomed to repeating yourself. With a trembling hand, she steers your vessel down. You sink into the abyss like a coffin into a grave. Stony walls rise about you. Your vessel's lights pick out beds of undulating anemones. Good luck. The Abyss of Graves. Shelves have been cut into the rock walls. Some are large enough to hold ancient waterlogged ships crusted with long dead barnacles. Others are smaller, holding pairs of clay coffins and a smattering of grave goods, jugs, and bowls. So last time I just departed. I dove deeper, there was nothing I could do, and then I departed. I'm not going to try and dive deeper, because chances of me succeeding again are very low. Um, but I will try this this time rest in one of the graves. A true sailor will find the Z as comfortable as any bed, it is said. This rite will increase your veils by tre 20, but decrease your hearts by 10. You may only benefit from one rite at a time. Let's try. You don your diving gear. You lie in an attempt to sh shelf cut from the stone. Your crew will watch over you in seven minute shifts. They have you out before 21. You close your eyes. The Z weighs heavy. It takes till the seven-minute bell before you slip into sleep. She lies next to you. The black hem of her skirt drifts like clouds of ink. In the dark, you could just make out her pale lips. She speaks. Invisible fingers tighten on your hair. You beg release. She laughs. The strident clanging of a bell jolts you awake. The twenty-one-minute warning ring rings wantonly. A sailor drags you into the safety of your hull. So, we failed? But we still, oh, I see. Who we are. <laughs> we are terrified. Um, we're going to have to do everything we can to bring down our, our terror. I don't know what happens when it reaches 100, but I assume bad things. Uh, so we lost 10 hearts. It's now 17, and we've got 20 veils. It's now 50. And we have the abyssal rites. Uh, I guess there's no sense in forsaking it right away because we paid so dearly for it. So I think we shall return to the surface. Hello? What's going on? Can I not transform? Can I not move? Oh, I'm paused. Derp. <laughs> I couldn't tell I was paused. Okay, so let's go back to the sir. What is that? Constant companion. No, 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 no. What is that? No. Did it hit us? Are we dead? We're dead, aren't we? Holy crap, we're at 11. Holy crap, what was that? Is it gonna show back up? We only have 11 hull. We better not die to Z-Bats. We missed. We took five damage. We can't take another hit. Wow. Is that because our sanity is so bad? Wow, that was terrifying. We won't be going back under the water for a little while, I think. Yeah, we have to reduce our terror. Lost two terror. We are haunted. The music is terrifying, too. Did you see that thing? A constant companion. Oh, my God. So yes, we will not be going back down. That bat swarm's dead. I said swarm. Uh, that bat swarm is dead, is it not? Oh well. Oh, boreal reach. Is this snow? Touch it, and it pulls to vapor, or puffs to vapor. Your crew huddles close to the warmth of pipe and funnel. Oh man, I'm so terrified by what just happened. <laughs> Uh, a constant companion, I guess, death? Death is a constant companion? There's a rift here, too. Oh, my goodness. We have to 
even though our ship is in rough shape, we have to make a journey out of this because we have so much fuel and we don't have much for echoes. So if we go back now, we'll be screwed anyway. Um, can we make repairs? Oh, we so cannot. 50% are better. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. We will make it. If we run into anything that wants to do us harm, we just hightail it out of there. We use as much fuel as we have to. We're gonna head west until we're down to 12 fuel or so. Oh, we should get out of the fog. But we want we want to get close to the shore. Um, we'll head west as far as we can until we have 12 fuel left. Then we'll return while we have lots of fuel. And we will be careful. We will be the most careful Zaylers ever. There's something underwater some distance to the west. Okay, well, I don't... I mean... Yeah, I would, I would love to, but I'm not going to. We're going to visit Mount Palmerston on our way by, and then maybe we can get our hull repaired a little there. I doubt it, but maybe. And if we can, then we'll feel a little better. And if we can't, we can at least buy some cheap fuel, I think. Though we should save our money, probably. But we need to reduce our terror as much as possible. We must be close. Yeah, there it is. Mount Palmerston. The Volcanic Isle. I think that's it, at least. Yeah, it is. Whew. So, note to self. Don't be under the Z when your terror is high. Because you have a constant companion, which is a giant terrifying spider. We'll be turning off our light now so we don't alert that guy. Okay, he's he's turning away. We might as well keep our terror down. Oh, man. I just, I'm still reeling from whatever the hell that was. It was the most terrifying giant spider thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay go up the crater or Mount Palmerston hmm okay Mount Palmerston sullen lights glow green at the jetty's edge behind the port buildings the island is knee-deep in ash there are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire far above the mountains top flickers red just for an instant take note of a veiled woman explore the island Engage an officer with the merciless modista. Uh, what is she? Does it say? Ah, right, it says here. First officer, iron veils and hearts. Wow. What's our first officer do? Mirrors and veils. Maybe. Oh, we don't have enough parabola linen, though. I see. Um, well, two supplies. No, we don't want to chance our trip not making it back so we'll take note of a veiled woman a middle-aged woman in a veiled hat is staring at you waiting for you to notice and listen to her okay the imperious sister's tale she begins commandingly as though you had met at a salon in London as though you were no burning mountain or there were no burning mountain at her back and as though you were socially just a little her inferior. Thank goodness, someone who might help me, she says. I have been searching everywhere. My brother is troubled, you see, troubled by some di past difficulties. I came to Mount Palmerston because I thought possibly they had his, well, his soul. She drops her voice to a whisper on the last words. But it isn't here, and now there's something else I must try, and you have a submarine. Okay. Whoa. What is that? That's cool looking. Receiving a commission from the Imperious Sister. The woman is no longer exactly youthful, but she speaks passionately from under her veil. Perhaps she has studied heroines on the stage. I need help to be reconciled with my dear brother. 
listen to what she wants or refuse. Uh, yeah, let's listen. She is very urgent to speak with you. She has a brother who is dear to her, a sensitive soul, very reserved. He used to work for the Admiralty. Something happened to distress him there. When I asked him about it, he said that I had enough to worry about with my own concerns. My husband was ill at the time. But I could help him if he would only permit me to know his troubles. For, you know, she puts a hand on her heart, bearing one another's burdens is what makes us truly good. She tells you that you'll need to go to Agle. Eigel? The city of regrets. Find her brother's regret and return it to her. She will play, pay gladly. I have a feeling she's playing us. I don't think we want to explore the island. I guess we will. No, we won't. Uh, let's get a port report. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here, they plot in exile. They shrug and curse. They don't do us any harm. They sit up there and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for us all, isn't it? Okay, we got a port report. Let's go back and go up to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but the road to the Brimstone Convention is paved with cinders. Visiting the wistful deviless. Perhaps it's time for a cup of honey fungus tea. Almost there. Look down and see Port Palmerston like a toy and the ruins like gravel. You've come far, but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little before you go the last half mile. The Wistful Deviless. The road to the crater ends at a brass gate in the crater wall. Beside it stands an oddly charming little cottage. It's thrown together from pumice and basalt, but its feature it features honeysuckle. An equally charming deviless in a tea gown leans against the cottage wall, twirling a parasol and fanning herself. I am the guardian of this place, she remarks languidly. You may not pass, but I can offer you a cup of arm armillaria tea. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Sounds like it has malaria in it. I could give her my soul? Or she wants a soul, it looks like. Well, I can't do either of those things. Let's refuse tactfully. You do not, at the moment, feel the Devil-Ass needs any more human souls. A tearful nod. I understand. It's a little indelicate, but I've had so many human friends. I'm sorry if I'm tactless sometimes. Sit with me a while. Let's just talk. Oh, and I have the hamper of honey fungus that your cook may find a use for. Got some supplies. That's good. And anything else? In yeah, we could chance that, but we're not going to. Can we shop for anything? Yeah, we could sell our Eloth. We could get Devil's Dice Bone or Ambiguous Eyeloth. Oh, we I, I meant to say we could sell our Zoop. Uh, we could buy or sell supplies or fuel. I don't feel... Well, fuel is not bad here, actually. Let's buy a fuel. Just because. Uh, and there's no shipyard. Oh my goodness, we are so screwed if we run into anything that's fast. Uh, in fact, we might need extra fuel, so let's bring a fair amount of it. Because we might need to speed out of any encounter we get to. So we'll head... Like I said, we'll go until we have about 12 fuel, and then we should have plenty to get back. So we'll head west some more. Oh dear god. Oh no. No, no. No, no. We're not doing that. No, go away. Go away. Mm-mm. I'll go full power if I have to. You go away. Yeah, you didn't see nothing. Don't come this way. That's right. You stay over there. Let's turn our light back on so we don't have to get any more terror than is needed on this trip, because we're either going to die of terror or sinking our dear god, our ship. That's a lifeberg. That thing will murder us. This must be Void's approach. The air crackles with frosty radiations. To the north, the false stars fall in the darkness. Chapel of Light, some distance east. Let's mark our map and check it out. We are very close. We'll make port again. Oh, what a perilous journey. Home, warmly lit windows, company, peace, thoughts of home come at the strangest times. Oh, what is that? No. 
What are you? No. No. I hit my ship on the frickin' wall. No. Okay, we're going full power. Go to port. To port. <laughs> Mount Nomad. No, I want nothing to do with you. My god. Oh. Who? It's gonna be there when we leave. What if we just... Is it gonna come at me if I just sit here? No, that's right. Go away. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, let's check out the Chapel of Lights. Do you hear music? Bert of faithful gatherer in the shadows between the many, many candles, a bell tolls in the chapel tower, cracked iron laughter. Beware, the aisle is full of voices. Eat at the chapel's bounty. Attend a service. Oh, we don't have enough supplies. Gather intelligence. Let's gather intelligence first. What occurs here between the darkness and the light? A smiling priest in a red cassock tends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note the names of a ship or two. Okay. Let's eat at, of the chapel's bounty. Probably people. A smiling priest unlocks the door of the storehouse for you. Here, he says, eat, but take nothing away with you. Okay. Rich in red. They have shark steaks plucked from the sea. Thin slices of ca cavern tuna, translucent, so, rather, and de delicate? I was going to say delicious. Delicate as paper. Little crimson cakes flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Tomatoes, impossibly ripe and sweet so far from the surface. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. Oh, cool. Well, we're not going to do anything else while we're here. And we will be ready to go full power and to turn off our light at a moment's notice here. Because we know Mount Nomad is nearby. And he would also... Ca I can't believe I hit the... To the north? Okay. I can't believe I hit <laughs> the shore and took one damage trying to get away from that thing. Let's check our map. Uh, it's right here. Not too far at all. Which way to port? I have a feeling it's in here between these two runes. But I'm a little... Okay, I was a little wary about entering where it looks all shiny here. Or sparkly. What is this place? Wow. Intense. I would dive back under the Z, but we are not in any shape to do that. If we want to make it back to port and live, we have to stay to the surface and be as cautious as possible. Avid Horizon. This is the end. Avid Horizon. Two vast wing shapes guard a gate of something like resin, smooth but uneven. It is a deep gant, the color that remains when all other colors have been eaten. Ice crusts over the cracks between its valves. Approach, and your breath freezes. Balls tinkling in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The docks, or the dock lies empty. Look into the stars... Uh, I guess we could do that. I mean, we have quite high terror. We might not ever come back here with that much terror. Gather intelligence. And... Okay, let's try this first. Stars float in the mirrored night of the waves. Watch them a while. Oh god, you cannot. You cannot. Look away. Uh, good, we got more terror. That's just That's just great for us. Uh, let's not do that again. He says as he considers doing it again right away. Let's not do that again. That's not smart. Nothing moves. Oh, gather intelligence. Such as there is to gather out here where nothing moves. This stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And what then? Your journey here may attract the attention of a certain crimson patron. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. Oh, cool. 
We don't want to look at the stars. You heard a story. The ice by the gate's edge. There was a whisper about a hunting quest. And a final revenge. Behind the ice. Yes. Yes, this is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice, hands contorted to claws, mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it, but perhaps you should put it in a jar. Okay, a hunter's eye. That's weird. No shops here, I'm assuming. Yeah, nothing going on here, really. Okay. Well, that's kind of terrifying music. That sounded like the music when, when the creature that was a constant companion showed up. He's not showing up again, is he? Please, please God, no. I'll say, so we'll do, oh say, okay, so we'll do another couple barrels of fuel, traveling here, and then we'll return to London. Hopefully we'll get a reward worthy of our trip to Neb. Frost found, vast and chilly, a fortress sieged by questions, answers, and riddles. Is that music just because I am so beyond terrified of Z here? It's terrifying. I'm very tense right now because of it. Uh, sounds like there's a giant rattlesnake after me. Okay, we're at Frostfound. That seems good, right? That's good. This place should be good for us. Maybe we'll get our sanity restored a little to Neb, some distance to the north. So the port is up here, then. That is a really cool-looking place. I'm assuming this music is because our terror is so high. I usually don't let my terror get up so high. Uh, are we not finding a port here? Okay, well, then I guess we'll head south. We need ourselves a new engine. So we can travel faster across the Z. Maybe that will be our next purchase, because then we can bring more lucrative re rewards home faster and advance our fortune much more quickly. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. Stoddard's Haven. Well, let's make port. Right. Sorry, there was a recording interruption there. I hope I caught it right away. Frostbound. Not frostbound. Frostfound, rather. Towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice, raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. No spider ever wove so complex a web. The towers are utterly, utterly pristine, untouched by human life, but a pitiable encampment squats by the dockside. Take tea with the squatters, ask about the castle, enter Frostbound. Create a port report, we'll do that first. What are the squatters up to? Bickering, amiably. Not all are Aremi or Withern. There's the odd researcher, an occasional deranged ice sculptor, now and then a very cold, very sad, rubbery man. But, for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry reigns. Should we take tea? Let's take tea. Some of them wear robes of Aremi riddle fishers. Or Aremi? Irene, I don't know how to pronounce that. Some look like Withern folk, but even more ragged. But they do seem a little more practical than either of those people. A surprisingly warm welcome. We're keepers of the steps for the game of truths, a happy riddle fisher explains as she fills your cup for the third time. Oh, she's supposed to be a woman. Okay. Every year, the people of Irem and Wither meet here for... Contests, she finishes vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle. One day, someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. That'll be us, hopefully. You spend a pleasant few hours while the tea is supplemented with Iremi liqueurs, pale withern beer, and something the riddle fishers describe blandly as snake cake. 
They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the Riddle Fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. We lost ten terror. Oh, thank goodness. We got one fuel, one supplies. That's all for now. Oh, thank you guys so much. You have no idea what that means to me. You guys are the best. Now, we did find a location. I guess it's just this island that we're already at. Hey, what's this? Tortoise? Oh, we found another place here. Right nearby. I guess we'll check it out, too. Oh, cool. Neat music. Well, let's head in into the heart of the city, I think. At least our exploration is going well. Khan's heart. Pale visitors. The cry goes up. Drownies in the water. The pale faces of the drowned dead bob like lamps. They're singing. Drown out their song with the roar of the engines. Drownies are drawn to fear like pickpockets to crowds. Stoke the engines as hot as they'll go. It will use fuel and may damage the ship, but you'll drown out their wretched song. Ignore it as best you can. Stop your ears. Set to work. You can't spare the fuel. Well, we can't spare actually chancing damaging our ship at all. We lost one crew. That's fine. We'll live. A dreaming doom. The song of the drownies wearies the arms and dismays the mind. Draw in a breath and you can smell the muck of the sea floor. Someone's gone overboard. Sleek heads gather round the flailing shape and then all of them are gone. Well, better than the ship, I guess. I, I'd hate to think like that, but I'd rather lose that one man than everybody on the ship. Hey, we have a port here. Cool, I hope those boats won't attack me. They look dangerous. Khan's Glory, a place of stately isolation. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belted robes breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized gimbals. Oh, that's my timer. We have nothing we can do here. Uh, we can cruise past the palace. Or take a meeting concerning a matter of no importance. Um... Unlock the Unterzee. Oh, under the Unterzee? Well, let's let's try it. A servant of the Taiman is missing. His lost his loss is a danger. There's a place one doesn't speak of. Officially a former servant of the Taiman, who did not engage in the gathering of strategic information, did not disappear to the Unterzee port of Anth, which officially does not exist. At length you hear what the servant did not look like and strict prohibitions against pursuing him. Officially, no one in Khan's glory would have any interest, or be at all inclined to reward you with money and connections if you were to go to the Anth. They would not care for a report of this, his situation, or any information he might be able to bring home. Okay. <laughs> That's rather passive-aggressive. Um, let's cruise past the clan palaces. Khan's glory has a steely beauty, but the clan lords are ever suspicious of spies, and those gun emplacements are vigilant. And turn back. A Khan 8 gunboat passes the harbor mouth twice. An officer in a red and gold uniform scrutinizes you through a spyglass. Best save it for another time. Okay, well, until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off. Mm -hmm.